standard, and we know the Hillary story's never been told about corruption, except maybe on this show and on my show on Fox and a few others. And why are you still confident? Do you think is he's bypassing the media enough and effectively enough to win this? Well, look, I think he has a very real chance to win for, for two reasons. One is that everywhere in the Western world in the last couple of years that you've had this kind of insurgency. The ultimate vote has been dramatically bigger than anybody thought, than the, the, whether it was Brexit or the Austrian election or the Italian elections or the Icelandic election. I mean, again and again, as you go across the world, pe people are sick of it. Now, uh, my good friend Barry Castleman, who writes a, a regular newsletter, which people could find, wrote a piece today about a, a, a news media coup d'etat. He said the coup d'etat is a, a, an illegal overturning of the government. He said, we are living through, not bias, we're living through a methodical effort by the news media to take over the presidential election, to smother Donald Trump, and to protect Hillary Clinton. And I think that's the only way you can see it. Um, I just got a note from somebody at Time Magazine that they do a cover story on the, the Trump tapes, and I went back and said, well, aren't you going to do an equal cover story about Hillary Clinton's secret speeches? What they uh, say? You know, and, and I think the reason I'm an optimist is if Trump can be as good as he was last night for 29 days, if they can, he has huge social media resources, and if they can focus, I'll just give you my favorite example, Hillary Clinton's dream of an open border for 600 million people from Latin America. Now, I suspect if he could drive that into every person's consciousness, and their choice was be mad at Donald Trump for some stupid comments 11 years ago, or make sure we don't have this person whose dream is to open our border to 600 million people. Uh, I have a hunch that, they, that, that, that that alone would shrink her support dramatically. We're going to go through a couple of days where she, we're going to get bad polls because the news media worked for four straight day, days to assassinate Trump. This was a lynching and a character assassination on a grand scale. And, and the news media was collectively involved in it, uh, and they moved as a herd, or as a pack would be a more accurate term, and everybody in the pack was trying to destroy Trump. It is disgusting. It really is. We really it's do. Frightening. Look, it's frightening for us as a country. If the news media can take on a serious major candidate, totally smear him while protecting his opponent who made dozens of secret speeches for hundreds of thousands of dollars and said things in those speeches she'd never say in public. She even says in the speech that, that you take one... You, she even said in the speech that? you take one position publicly and another in buying closed doors. Right. You know, I, I mean, it's so corrupt. And I got to tell you, we don't. We have one party that just won't fight. I mean, you got to give Democrats credit credit they'll fight you and i'll fight you know we'll look well, at the, thought, the big I picture I that, that, that that's what trump praised clinton <laughs> that's true that is and it's the characteristic he understands and, you know I, I have to say as, as a as a green bay fan you know i've watched the well, I, I two right, easy on the front. green bay talk because you know you, uh, you, you i know I, I understand there may be a handful of giant fans of yeah thanks a lot I, you know i'm a <laughs> Just, just good and bad for a second. Huh? <laughs> yeah, real quick. Yeah, because what I was going to say was, if the pack came out of the field, much as I love them, and they announced the first quarter, this is going to be a really hard game, and they were really depressed, and they weren't really sure they should play the whole way this year. You know, maybe maybe people would be okay if they just played the first two quarters, because after all, you know, you get hit, and it hurts, and you don't feel good, and rainbow gets cold in the winter. Uh, we, you know, you get a new team. I mean, so I spent my entire career in a Republican Party, which is dominated by the news media, which is intimidated by the news media. This has been true with the exception of Reagan. This has been consistently all the way through. By the way, uh, if it turns out that Republicans leaked that tape, what does that say to you? Oh, I don't know. I'm confident that NBC leaked it. Oh, I'm confident that maybe some Republicans had a hand in it. Talk to Jerry Falwell Jr. Um, no, they might have. Look, look, there's a faction of the Republican Party that would rather live with Hillary and be in a minority, but yep. be allowed to come to the plantation and get fed from the tape, than actually take over and, and break yeah. up the establishment. You see, they, they liked that you got them the power, but then as soon as you started to do profound things, then they wanted a, a punt and... and and run away from you as quickly as they could too. So you yeah. know, we've seen this this dance before, and it's pretty disgusting and cowardly but, to me. So, but Trump just needs to stay focused on Hillary. Yep. If, 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 if October is, do you want Hillary months? He loses. If October is, do you really want Trump months? He probably loses. All right, good point, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. When we come Thank back, you. Louis Gomer, Congressman Gomer, was on that call today, a conference call with Paul Ryan. He'll tell us what happened. Hey, in today's world, a lot of.